Have you ever wondered about the world of investments and the risks that come along with it? Picture this. You're on the verge of embarking on your investment journey, and you're about to discover the captivating realm of market risk. But what is market risk, and how can you navigate it successfully without losing your hard-earned money? Well, that's precisely what we're going to explore in this video. By the time this video concludes, you'll have a deep understanding of market risk and the tools you can use to mitigate its impact. We won't just throw a bunch of jargon at you, we'll break it down in a way that's easy to understand. So let's dive in and let's define the essence of market risk. Understanding market risk. All right, let's dive deeper into market risk. It's like the wild side of investing, the part that's unpredictable and often beyond your control. Imagine you're all set to invest in stocks, but there's a sudden twist. You receive some not-so-great news about the company's financial performance, and just like that, the stock takes a nosedive. That's market risk in action. It's the roller coaster ride your investments can take due to factors like economic shifts, global events, and even natural disasters. But here's the thing. Market risk isn't just limited to stocks. It's like this invisible hand that touches almost every kind of investment out there. Whether you're into stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, or real estate, it's lurking around the corner. This diversity adds a layer of complexity to your investment portfolio because each asset class dances to its own tune. For instance, let's consider commodities. They're not immune to market risk either. Think of a situation where a drought strikes, leading to lower crop yields and driving up food prices. This demonstrates how market risk extends its reach to commodities, and the ripple effects can affect your investments. So, the next time you're planning to put your money in various places, remember, market risk might be your uninvited companion. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. To make smart investment decisions, you need to know how to handle market risk. That's what we'll explore in the next points. So stick around, because it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways to navigate this wild ride and even come out on top. The multifaceted nature of market risk. So we've talked about how market risk is like the chameleon of investments, affecting everything from stocks to commodities. But why does this diversity matter and how does it impact your investment strategy? Well, the answer lies in the different characteristics of these asset classes. When you invest in stocks, you're essentially buying a piece of a company, and the value of that company's stock can change rapidly. It's all about market sentiment, the collective feelings and opinions of investors. If negative news about a company's financials or management surfaces, it can trigger a swift decline in its stock price. That's where market risk steps in making your stock investments sway like a leaf in the wind. But the story doesn't end with stocks. Bonds, for example, have their own set of quirks. They're fixed income investments, meaning they pay a set interest rate. But when interest rates change, the value of these bonds can go on a roller coaster ride. As interest rates rise, existing bonds may lose value, and when rates fall, bond values tend to rise. You see, the bond market is like a seesaw and market risk can tilt it in surprising ways. Now let's talk about foreign exchange currencies. Market risk in this realm is often called currency risk. If you've got investments in foreign markets or you're putting your money into multinational companies, currency risk can keep you on your toes. It's all about changes in foreign exchange rates. Imagine you're holding investments in a currency that suddenly takes a nosedive. Your investment value, when converted back to your home currency, might not look as rosy. And then there's the captivating world of commodities. Think gold, oil, agricultural products, they're all in the game. Changes in supply and demand, geopolitical events, and even the weather can play tricks on commodity prices. For instance, a drought could lead to lower crop yields, which in turn can shoot up food prices. It's like a game of chance where you're betting on nature's whims. So, what's the takeaway here? Market risk is like this multifaceted puzzle that you need to solve with your investment strategy. It's not just one size fits all. To succeed in this game, you've got to be adaptable, flexible, 
and ready to deal with the surprises that each asset class brings to the table. Types of Market Risk Let's roll up our sleeves and take a closer look at the different types of market risk. It's like discovering the many shades of risk in the financial world, each with its unique characteristics and challenges. First up, we have equity risk. Imagine this as the thrill ride in the world of stocks. When you invest in a company's stock, you're essentially becoming a part owner. But here's the catch. The value of that stock can be as unpredictable as the weather. It's influenced by factors like changes in market sentiment, the performance of the company, or industry trends. So, if some not-so-good news about a company's financials or management pops up, it can send its stock on a roller coaster and your investments along with it. Next in line is interest rate risk, and it's all about the bond market. Bonds are like the steady, predictable investments that promise you fixed interest rates. But there's a twist. When interest rates decide to do a little dance, the value of these bonds can waltz up and down. If interest rates rise, existing bonds may lose their luster, as new bonds offer higher yields. But when interest rates take a dip, suddenly the value of your existing bonds starts looking more attractive. It's like a seesaw where your investments are on one side and interest rates are on the other. Then we have currency risk. It's like a foreign exchange adventure, and it comes into play when you're dealing with investments denominated in foreign currencies. This risk is particularly relevant if you're dabbling in foreign markets or investing in multinational companies. So picture this. You're holding investments in a foreign currency, and all of a sudden, that currency takes a nosedive. When you convert your investment back to your home currency, you might not like what you see. It's like dealing with constantly changing exchange rates, and they can play tricks on your investments. Moving on to commodity risk. This is where you bet on the world's raw materials, things like gold, oil, and agricultural products. But these commodities have a mind of their own, influenced by supply and demand changes and even geopolitical events. For instance, a drought in a key farming region can lead to lower crop yields and, you guessed it, higher food prices. It's like being at the mercy of nature's mood swings while trying to make sense of your investments. Now let's talk about systematic risk. It's the risk that doesn't discriminate. It affects the entire market or a specific segment of it. It's like the grand conductor of financial chaos, and its instruments include changes in economic conditions, geopolitical events, and even the occasional natural disaster. When these factors decide to play their tune, they can shake up the entire financial orchestra. It's like being on a roller coaster with no seat belts. Everything goes up and down, and you're in for the ride whether you like it or not. Finally, there's unsystematic risk. This one is like the sneaky troublemaker that targets specific individuals or industries. It doesn't care about the entire market. It's all about causing mischief in one corner. Think of things like changes in company management, product recalls, or patent disputes. These events can send shockwaves through the companies or industries involved, and if you've got investments in them, you're in for a bumpy ride. So, what's the big picture here? Market risk isn't just one monolithic entity, it's a complex tapestry of risks that weave through various aspects of the financial world. To be a successful investor, you need to understand these risks and how they interact with your investments. If you like our video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Managing Market Risk All right, now that we've explored the different facets of market risk, how can you navigate this wild terrain successfully? It's like being handed a map with many hidden treasures and potential pitfalls. You need a plan to avoid the traps and secure the treasures. One essential strategy is diversification. It's like having multiple shields to protect you from arrows by spreading your investments across different asset classes, sectors, and geographic regions, you can reduce your exposure to any single risk factor. So, if one area of your investments takes a hit, the others can still thrive. Then comes asset allocation, which is all about finding the right balance. It's like creating your favorite dish with the perfect mix of ingredients. 
When you determine the appropriate mix of investments based on your risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals, you can achieve that balance. It's about weighing the different types of assets and ensuring they align with your overall investment strategy. Hedging is like having a safety net. You use financial instruments like options, futures, or swaps to protect against potential losses. For example, you might purchase put options on a stock, which is like having an insurance policy for your investments. If the stock's value takes a hit, the put option can soften the blow. Then there are stop-loss orders, and they act as your guardians. You set a stop-loss order to sell a security once it reaches a certain price. It's like a safety net that prevents you from falling too far. In the event of a market downturn, a stop-loss order can limit potential losses, helping you keep your hard-earned money intact. Active management is like being the captain of your investment ship. You regularly monitor and adjust your portfolio in response to changing market conditions. It's not a set-and-forget approach. Instead, you're actively steering your investments to navigate the ever-changing financial seas. Lastly, maintaining a long-term perspective is like having a compass that points to your destination. Market fluctuations are a normal part of investing. If you focus on short-term volatility, it's like getting lost in the woods instead of reaching your long-term financial goals. By keeping your eyes on the horizon and avoiding impulsive decisions based on short-term market turbulence, you can stay on course. So, there you have it, a toolkit to manage market risk. It's not about eliminating risk entirely, but rather about learning how to navigate the investment landscape effectively. Now that you've got these strategies in your arsenal, you're better equipped to handle the ups and downs of the financial world. Remember, knowledge is your strongest shield in this adventure. Advantages and Disadvantages of Market Risk Okay, so you've been on this journey, learning about market risk, its different forms, and how to manage it. But what's the big picture? Let's zoom out and see the advantages and disadvantages of market risk, the pros and cons of this roller coaster ride. First up, the advantages. One of the key benefits of market risk is the potential for higher returns. It's like the lure of a high risk, high reward game. Market risk often comes hand in hand with the opportunity for greater returns. Investors who are willing to accept higher levels of risk might find themselves with the chance to earn higher returns compared to those who stick to low-risk investments. It's like the thrill of a high-stakes poker game, where the winnings can be substantial if you play your cards right. Liquidity is another advantage, and it's like having a flexible tool in your investment arsenal. Market risk is often associated with investments that are publicly traded, like stocks and bonds. The beauty of these investments is their liquidity. It means you can buy and sell them quickly and easily, like a well-oiled machine. You're not stuck with your investments. You have the freedom to adapt to changing circumstances. Transparency is like having a guiding light in the dark forest of investments. Publicly traded investments are subject to regulatory oversight and reporting requirements. What does that mean for you? It means you have access to a wealth of information about your investments. Financial statements, earnings reports, analyst ratings, they're all at your fingertips. It's like having a flashlight in the darkness, helping you make informed decisions about your investments. But of course, there are disadvantages to market risk too. The most obvious one is losses. It's like the shadow side of that high-risk, high-reward game. When market conditions shift, investments can lose value and you might not be able to recover your initial investment. It's like taking a gamble, and sometimes, the odds don't work in your favor. Volatility is like the roller coaster within the roller coaster. Market risk is often associated with high levels of volatility, meaning that investments can experience large fluctuations in value over short periods of time. It's like being on a wild ride where your heart races, and you're never quite sure where you'll end up. This volatility can make it hard for investors to predict the prospective value of their investments, adding an element of unpredictability to the game. Complexity is like navigating a labyrinth. Investing in the stock market can be complex and demands a high level of financial literacy and knowledge of market trends. It's not a simple path from point A to point B. 
You need to understand the rules of the game, keep an eye on ever-changing market dynamics, and make informed decisions. For inexperienced investors, this complexity can be a daunting challenge. Now, what's the big takeaway here? Market risk is a critical component of investing, and it's not just black and white. It comes with its fair share of advantages and disadvantages. It's like a double-edged sword. It offers potential rewards, but it also carries risks. Understanding market risk and how to manage it can help investors make informed decisions and work towards their long-term investment objectives. It's like learning the rules of the game and playing it with confidence. So, there you have it, folks. Market risk is like the thrilling adventure of the investing world, with its ups and downs, twists and turns. We've delved into its many facets, from understanding its unpredictability to managing it with a toolbox of strategies. It's not all bad news. Market risk also offers the potential for higher returns, liquidity, and transparency. But of course, there's a flip side with the risk of losses, the roller coaster of volatility, and the complexity of market dynamics. The key takeaway? Market risk is a vital consideration for investors. By understanding it and using the right tools, you can ride the waves and work towards your long-term financial goals. So how will you handle the definition of market risk? Well, the choice is yours, but this video is here to help you make it wisely. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more financial insights. Stay tuned and let's unlock the secrets to getting rich together.